My very first video that I ever filmed got 34,000 views. 34,000 views. Today I wake up like a boss and I'll be thinking Jesus. Fake is trying to get up in my circle. I don't really need him. We were saying we have next forever. Now we really mean it. We about that action. I can bash it when you see us. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanisha and on my channel I typically do makeup videos, fashion videos, wig review videos, but today I thought I would switch it up and do something a little bit different. Even though I only have 400 YouTube subscribers, I still thought I would come on here and make a video on how to start a YouTube channel. Like, I know it's 2021 and everybody wants to start a channel or they want to do something new that they've never done. I know you got those New Year's resolutions that you've been dying to hit. So, like, hit them resolutions. My resolution every year was to start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel, but I never would start. So, my advice to you is to just start. For years I would say, I'm going to start tomorrow, I need a camera, I need a ring light, I need a tripod, who going to watch Born On Me? But honestly, like, the quickest and easiest way to start a YouTube channel is to just sit down and do it. About two years ago, I started my YouTube channel, and I wasn't serious with it, but I did start my channel, and my very first video that I ever filmed got 34,000 views. 34,000 views. And you know what I filmed with? I filmed with an old iPhone 6S Plus. Yes, a 6S Plus. So, whatever phone you got, whether it be an iPhone, an Android, whatever it is, pick it up and use it. Like, we pay hundreds of hundreds and thousands of dollars for these devices so use them don't wait until you get this brand new canon g7x or whatever these big brand name cameras that people are saying that that they need to film you don't need that like i film with an iphone and i had an old folding table from walmart that's what i used to film my video i just sat in front of a window and i would just went i would i just film like I really just filmed. You're never going to be ready if you're waiting on that camera or that ring light, that tripod, all that fancy equipment that you think you need. You don't need that. The first step in starting a YouTube channel is to just start. The second step would be to not worry about what everybody's going to say. Don't worry about how many views you're getting. Don't worry about what what people are watching if anybody's gonna watch what people are gonna say like don't worry about how many subscribers you got don't worry about any of that you got to start somewhere like start now you know rome wasn't built in a day remember that i know that sound real corny but i'm real i look at so many of these youtube beauty gurus such as Aaliyah j face over matter and kennedy simone like they had to start somewhere one day they just picked up their phone or whatever they had and they started filming and they'll look at them like they have like over a million subscribers that could be you but you playing like for real just pick up your phone and start trust the process sis the third step in starting a YouTube channel would be to be consistent. I cannot stress that enough. Like two years ago when I started, my first video got all those views and guess what I did? I didn't film again for like six months. So all of those subscribers that I gained, like no one wanted to watch me anymore because I wasn't, I wasn't putting out content. So do whatever you got to do to be consistent. If you got to get a journal, you got to set a schedule. If you got to pre-record, if you got to, you know, record like eight videos on one day in order for you to stay consistent, do whatever you got to do to be consistent. People want to see consistent videos. If you only post in a video like once every six months, it's going to be hard to grow your channel. If people like you, they want, they're going to want to see more. You know, like if they like you, they're going to want to see more. My favorite show is Power and it come on Sunday nights. Every Sunday night, faithfully, me and my husband be in front of the TV waiting for Power to come on. Like, we like that. That's something we want to see. So if people like you, you got to have a schedule. I ain't saying you got to film every day, but I mean, you got to be consistent. I mean, you can't film every day. Like, nobody really has time for that unless you are a full-time YouTuber. I mean, maybe that's your goal in a couple years or so. Maybe you could be a full-time YouTuber. But in the beginning, like, you just got to start and you got to be consistent. Another step in starting a YouTube channel would be be yourself. Like, I know that sounds corny too, but be the real you. Don't try to be the Meg Thee Stallion or the Rihanna or the Cardi B of YouTube. Like, be you. If you on here and you pretending to be something that you're not, the camera's going to pick up on that. Because the camera picks up on everything. People are going to see that you being fake and they're not going to want to watch you. 
Um, so my advice is just be you. Like, honestly, be you. And people either going to like you or they not. But that's just the way of the world. They either going to like you or they not. So I'd rather be myself and have people like me than to come on here and pretend to be someone that I'm not. And people still don't like me. So my advice is, you know, pick whatever it is you're good at. If you like to do makeup, you like to do hair, you like to do cooking videos or whatever it is that you're good at. Just just do that. Like pick up the camera, pick up the phone and film. Film whatever it is that you're good at. That way you can be in your comfort zone and you can be who you are. Like people want to see the real you. They want to see genuine videos. Another step in starting a YouTube channel would be to do it because you want to do it. Don't do it because your friend Sally and Susie doing it. Don't do it because, you know, such and such is doing it and they making all of this money. Like don't do it for that. Do it because you want to do it. Like, don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the hair. Don't do it for the free clothes you think you're going to get. Don't do it for the fashion over deals. Like, don't do it for any of that. Because in the end of the day, you're not going to be happy. It'll be easier to start a YouTube channel if you're genuinely doing it for yourself. So, do it for you. I know this video was pretty short and I really didn't have much to say. But, um, I hope this video did help someone today. Even if it only helped one person. All you need to start a YouTube channel is to just do it. Be consistent. Don't worry about what everybody else got to say. Be yourself and do it because you want to do it. So hopefully you learned a little bit from the video. Hopefully you like what you saw. And if you did like what you saw or you gained any knowledge in this video, please be sure to like it, thumbs it up, share it, comment, all that good stuff, you know. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.